so here we'll discuss about the pure torsion okay so as i said pure torsion is it is subjected to only torsional type of the forces okay so no uh, axial forces no bending forces so when it is subjected to pure uh, the torsional only torsion torsional type of forces or couple then it is called pure torsion okay so we we'll consider here two figures are there first the consider circular shaft made of rubber okay to analyze the pure torsion how it will happen uh, we will consider a circular shaft circular solid shaft and it is made up of rubber okay so the rubber shaft why why we are considering rubber shaft because when it will be subjected to torsional torsion we can view we can view enlarge we can in, uh, view the enlarged portion of the deformation and the stresses okay the main objective of this is to see the how the stress distribution and how the deformation happens if is uh, if is subjected to uh, the pure torsion in the shaft here okay so that's why we are consider the uh, rubber as a uh, material here okay so next if you see the first picture here uh, this is the shaft one end it is rigidly fixed okay so other end it is free okay before torsion before torsion okay so here the we have the longitudinal uh, longitudinal lines and this uh, the circumferential lines two types of the lines are there okay so we are drawing here longitudinal lines and circumferential lines on the shaft i draw here 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 one longitudinal line here and here like this okay on the surface next these are all circumferential lines because they are the lines along with the circumference they are called circumferential lines okay so what do you mean by longitudinal lines longitudinal lines are the uh, parallel to the longitudinal axis the lines which are drawn parallel to the longitudinal axis this is your longitudinal axis right this xx this is xx is the longitudinal axis if you draw the uh, lines parallel to the uh, xx then it is called longitudinal lines so how about the the circular the circumferential lines circumferential lines divide the shaft into circular discs okay so as here i draw one circumferential line here here they divide they divide the shaft into circular discs into circular discs here okay so for analyze purpose we will consider the small portion and we will discuss the pure torsion okay so consider a rectangular section abcd abcd with length l l with length dl as shown in figure okay just consider a rectangular a rectangle portion abcd and it's having a length is dl as shown in figure okay so now in the second picture this is before torsion okay so in the second picture i applied the torsion the torque or torsion t so in this direction in the uh, anti clockwise direction okay so if you apply obviously there will be changes in the longitudinal lines and the circumferential lines here okay so when we apply apply second point apply torque t torque t at the free end right we need to apply the torque at the free end in the other in the in, in this left side end it is fixed here the free end free end so when we apply the torque what happens suppose if i apply here if i apply like this the lines it will be changing the whatever the portion a b c d is there the it will converted the rectangle to parallelogram after applying the twist okay so after applying torque 
द रेक्टैंगल ए बी सी डी इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू पैनल होता इंटू पैरलो ग्राम ओके इट इज कन्वर्टेड इंटू पैरलो ग्राम दट इज ए ए डैश बी डैश सी डैश एंड डी डैश ओके नो After applying the torque, obviously there is uh, changes in the longitudinal lines and the circumferential lines. So we will get certain terms here, certain time. See here, the line it will be changing. It will be changing from here to here, here to here. Okay. So here one angle you will get. That angle it is called shear strain. Okay. We need to define what you mean by shear strain. Also, after applying the twisting, in the end. Of the uh, in the at the end end of the portion end portion from the center, obviously there is a again change change in the uh, longitudinal lines with respect to to the center. So here also you will get one more angle. That angle is called angle of twist. So here two important terms we will get. Uh, one is the shear strain. One is the angle of twist. So that we need to define here. Okay. So I will define what you mean by shear strain. Okay, so here only I define by looking the view. The shear strain is defined as the angle. It is the angle made by the longitudinal lines, longitudinal line with respect to the fixed end. Okay, it will changes this these lines like this. So with respect to longitudinal axis, what will be the angle made? Okay, so I define shear strain. shear strain it is gamma okay so it is the angle made by the by the longitudinal lines longitudinal line with respect to the longitudinal longitudinal line parallel to the shaft parallel to the shaft parallel to the shaft and rotates through rotates through rotates through an angle gamma an angle gamma with fixed end fixed end so angle made by the longitudinal lines long longitudinal line parallel to the shaft it is ob obviously first the line is it is parallel to the shaft and it will rotates after applying a torque it will rotate rotate through an angle gamma with fixed end with fixed end with respect to this end it is of here no changes in the uh points of the longitudinal lines okay so here only it will be twisting so here you can see here this is called gamma here so one more angle it will comes angle of twist it is theta that is this is one and second one is angle of twist angle of twist it is theta okay so angle of twist just See here. This is the shaft. Okay. And this is the axis. This is longitudinal axis here. And here, this is the longitudinal. We are fixing here, right? We are fixing. Fixing. So, so this. Here, this point, and for fixed point, this is longitudinal axis, and here. After applying, it will the fiber will be changing here. So, this angle it is called theta. 
it will be depends it will depend uh, it will be changes from section to section here along the length along the length suppose this is theta 1 theta 1 so if you consider here the section here one section okay so whatever you are getting here this is theta 2 so this is theta 2 so in all the section it will be changing here so i will define the angle of twist is defined as it is the angle through which section at the right end section at the right end at the right end rotates through longitudinal axis okay so it is the angle it is the angle through which through which the section at the right end at the right end at the right end rotates about longitudinal axis rotates about longitudinal axis okay so we will get two terms after applying the twist one is shear strain one is angle of twist these two are different see along the axis whatever the changes it is shear strain so at the end with respect to this center the it also the fiber will be changing the longitudinal axis will be changing that angle it is called the angle of twist here okay so this is how we need to analyze the pure torsion okay